ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here. Destroy the ever living boo boo brown stain off of that regional like and subscribe button because we're trying to climb up the 1300 ladder after I got smoked playing tier element, ladies and gentlemen. I will never play this deck again for as long as I live because uh, when it comes to playing this deck in a regional compared to sitting quietly in your room playtesting all night, there's a big difference and when it's time to show up and you're unable to, uh, it's a very bad time for everybody involved because it looks like you're slow playing, it looks like you don't know what you're doing. Anyway, uh, I ended up going, I call it X3 and then losing the last round, but let's just call it what it is, it's X4. Uh, I lost the last round to a tier element mirror match. I just did not have the brain power to be able to play that and the dude also sharked me. Uh, in game two after he beat me in game one. I was trying to be cute and make him go first and side it going second cards and it just didn't work out for me. Um, I had summoned Rhino Heart from the graveyard and Sulek was also in the grave. I activated Sulek on Chainlink 1, which I had been declaring my Chainlinks like that all day, keep in mind, and I also did that in game one. He immediately ashes me and I said, no, I still have to declare my Chainlink 2. Rhino Heart, he goes, you did not declare your Chainlinks. So I wasn't gonna argue with him. I let the judges know that he sharked me. I picked up my cards and I just walked away because I was like, at that point, I hadn't drawn evenly. I hadn't drawn anything. So I was like, I'm not going to argue about it. Um, all my other matchups I have on my community post as well, uh, which I really like doing at these events because it feels like all you guys are watching me live like as I'm progressing through the rounds. And I've even had in past events where like some of y'all will comment on my community post and give me tips and advice on how to beat certain matchups. And uh, it's, it's a really fun time. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be up to date with all that. If you want to look back at my matchups, they, like I said, they are on my community post. Um, I went round by round and explained what happened. Um, so I don't want to waste too much time with that. Um, but if you have any questions about my matchups, you know, feel free to leave a comment. And I'll answer them as soon as I can. Shout out to Valley D, my homie, my brother from another mother who I've known for well over 10 years. Always love hanging out with you at events, bro. I hope you know that. He got 15th place with Chimera branded. So be sure to like that. Uh, well, be sure to uh, like the video, I should say, so that we can get that deck profile up. Uh, hopefully very soon within the next couple of days. He just needs to send me his list and some notes and I'll talk about it in the video. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive on into this so I can go sell this uh, this horrible deck. <laughs> so uh, also I apologize for the sleeves because you know I already unsleeved this deck. So uh, <laughs> this is actually gonna be my first ever deck profile with no sleeves. Uh, three Rhino Heart, it's an Armageddon Knight. It's really good, there's not much else to say about it. So yeah, <laughs> uh, and then we're playing the one ofs. Uh, one Sharon, one Hoffenus and three Merle. Uh, it's your fusers, it's pretty standard. Um, three copies of Kashtira Tier Element. This card's a god card. Um, if you already have access to your fusers, you can just add this off of Sulek or dump it off of Rhino, get two more mills. It's it's a fun time. Uh, and then we are on the Destiny Hero package, so we're on one, de uh, yeah, one Denier, two Mali. This engine is so good. I'm not on King of the Swamp. Um, yeah, just it did what it needed to do. It was, it was really good. Uh, and then we're playing the two Nessie because we are on the Shiyama. This was three, and then huh, shout out again to Valley D. He was able to bring me a Shiyama. So end up playing Shiyama. Shiyama actually didn't come up that often. Um, but the Nessies were pretty good, especially if the hand was kind of bricky or like you open up Triva Karma and you don't have access to Shiyama. Uh, and then three of the biggest hand trap bait in the game, three Diviner. Uh, this got hand trapped, I think, only like twice. Uh, throughout the regional, but I mean, if people had an imperm, they were imperming this. Um, I actually had a guy, it was Infernoble actually, and I activated Primeval Planet and he ashed it. So then I summoned Diviner and used the effect to dump the Aigido and Mill, and he didn't have ash or imperm or nothing. So we ended up winning that game. And then uh, one Aigido, one Kelbeck, one Medora, one Keldeo. These cards need to all be banned. Uh, being able to get a Mill 10 off is just insanity. It's It's so good. Uh, and then we've got one Mothman. I am on the Shadal package. Winda is a god card. Uh, one Mothman, one Beast, and one Shiyama. If you didn't see my community post about it, <laughs> uh, in uh, in my first tier element mirror, which was round two, um, I had Winda up with Beast, and my opponent had Scream, and uh, did he have Pressure Planet? I don't think he had Pressure Planet up, but I had Primeval Planet up. And he goes, he used Scream to mill three, make all my monsters lose 500 attack. He goes, Rhino Heart attacking to Winda. And I'm like, okay, it's gaining 500. He's like, well, no, it's losing 500. So it's at 1700 because of the Scream. That's right, I don't think I had Primeval Planet, but he had Scream up. So my monster is at 1700. So I'm like, well, I triggered my Scream this turn because I did a Cash Tier a Tier and a Scream to mill six this turn. 
So your Rhino Heart's losing 500, so it's back down to 15, so you take 200, and he scooped. So he forgot about my own scream. It, it was really funny. And then, like I said, Shiyama was pretty decent. Being able to pop Kaleido Heart to summon it and then get it back out and then dump a Tear Fuser is really good. Uh, for the spells, we're on three Scream. Card's good. And then we're on this God card. If you're not playing this card, you need to. We're on three Super Poly. This card is insanity good. I was main decking Droplets to be able to play around Dweller. Um, but I ended up swapping to Super Polys the day before. And uh, th this this card was so much better than Super Polys. I did side deck Super Polys. They never came up. Um, but Super Polys was just such an amazing card. Especially if you, if you open up multiple copies. Can't be responded to. I actually had a guy. I played Super Poly. He goes, Super Poly. Um, and I'm like, you can't respond to it. And he's like, oh, that's true. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so people like instinctively, they'll be like, um, I'm thinking on that. And it's like, you don't need to be thinking that you can't respond to it. So yeah, it was it was great. Um, and then Triple of the Primeval Planet. Uh, I had a, what was it? Was it Mike? No, I did play against Mike Kashi. We went to three games. I won in game three. I just popped off and we kicked in the Ultra Instinct and played like a madman. Um, but there was someone I played. I forget who. I think it was one of the Infernoble players. One of the two I played. Yeah, I think it was the first Infernoble player where I had this up and he tried to attack and I go use the effect of like Medora or Keldeo, whichever. Shuffle back an Aqua and two other cards. Use Primeval Plant to pop your monster. And then he lost his battle phase. So he's like, yeah, I scoop. So, yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, goods for the Trip of Karma, Terraforming, Foolish, uh, and Card Destruction, and then Meta Noise, Double Sullic, and of course the Trip of Karma. Um, we didn't open up Trip of Karma that often, luckily. Uh, when we did, we just had to kind of just Card Destruction for it. Let's see. I'm sorry that I sound monotone. Also, I'm very tired. It was nine rounds of BS. Uh, one Kaleido Heart, it's good. Uh, one Garua. Fantastic. One Mud Dragon. I don't know why I just put this on the side here. Uh, one Dragos Capella. One Winda. I don't care what anyone says. This thing's a god card. It didn't come up often, but when it does, it's just such a good god card. At the very least, it makes the opponent waste their battle phase. You know, and then they're going to main phase two. They're trying to build a board, and then, like, you can just on the crackback rebuild a board and just win. Uh, and then we got one Dangerous. It's for Destiny Heroes. Uh, one Baron. Uh, I mean, with the Diviner, th this is good. You summon it out and then you use it to pop like a Sharon infuse. Uh, one Dweller, if I had done this uh, in the last round, game one, instead of making Redoer, I could have made Dweller. I mean, granted, I didn't know he was on, uh, what do you call it, tier element, but had I done this, then none of his mills would have popped off. He probably would have won. Uh, one Time Thief, one Beatrice. Uh, Sky Crisis is a god card. You've got to be playing this. Little Knight, I know it's expensive, but it's a god card. You have to play this. You have got to play this card. Like it's if you can afford it or you can trade for it, you need to. It's it's so good. Uh, and then one cross sheet came up a couple times. Uh, one sprint only came up once last round where the guy sharked me, and it didn't matter because like I said, he sharked me. Uh, and then one underworld goddess. Um, I tried to make this once, but I was under my own TC boo against a purely player, so I couldn't really do nothing about it. Um, one magnumut double Druid swarm. This package was fine. Um, came up once against the Mayakashi player. I tried to magnumut. And then he actually kind of helped my misplay because he used his own Vice Steel to banish his big Mayakashi Synchro and bring it back anyway. So I'm like, oh, well, that's good. I just saved my Vice Steel. So uh, one scatter shot. This came up twice. If you read my community post, this came up twice in time. It was so damn funny. Um, triple droplets. This never came up. Um, but I am going to hold on to these because they're staples. I already spent money on them after they got reprinted, which is fine. I knew they were getting reprinted. Um, but these never came up. I was going to play them for Rogue because they can negate multiple cards. You can pitch like Aigido and stuff and still get their effects to mill. It just never came up. Uh, one Feather Duster. One Crime. I was not a fan of Crime. I don't know if I was just playing it wrong, but like I never had monsters in my hand. Three Tikaboo. This is a god card. <laughs> I had two of these set against the Purely player. And he uses Little Knight to banish one. And then when he summoned a Purely and tried to use his effect, I go activate the second Tikaboo. And he's just like, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, let's go to next game. <laughs> And then three evenly match another god card. This is insane. I actually tried to bait this against the Thunder player I played against because uh, I knew he had Dreaming Town set. So I go end of main, attempting to enter battle phase. He's thinking about it. He goes, yeah. I go enter battle phase. He's like, sure. I go attempt to end battle phase. And he's like, um, yeah. And I smile at him and I'm like, main phase two. He goes, I knew it. I knew you didn't have it. <laughs> so we, uh, we, we tried to bait out that Dreaming Town, but it just didn't work in our favor. So that's the deck, everybody. Um, it, it's just way too in-depth for me. Like, it seemed like it was a very much a mid-range deck. But when you get in that regional slash YCS setting and you've got all the loud people, you've got people yelling, calling for judges, you've got 
I had two players next to me in like round two arguing for literally five minutes about if they actually pronounced they were going to the fucking battle phase. Like this is this is the BS that happens at events that can really throw you off your mojo when you're trying to pilot a deck like this. So we're gonna move on to Centurion Horus. I'm already trying to put a list together. Um but I had a great time overall. I love catching up with friends and, you know, hanging out with Valley D. You know, he's like a brother from another mother. We've known each other for 10 years. He's like family at this point. So being able to hang out with my bro is, is always a good time. And to see him succeed is, is always a blast too. So, um, yeah, you know, I don't like that I got sharked at the end. But overall, you know, if you got to do that, you've got other stuff going on in your life where you need your invite that Valley. And it's a children's card game. I'm not going to argue about it. It is what it is. I thank the judges for a fantastic event. Um, thank you to the tournament organizers. A fantastic event as always in Kissimmee. So thank you all for hosting a great event. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comments section below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.